Ladies and gentlemen, by way of introduction, this is a film about trickery and fraud. My, my film is not a movie. Nobody has ever seen a thing like this. And when they see this picture in the news, in the, well, over the moving pictures, they'll really see something. Many spectators enter the theater with a naive concept of truth. They see documentaries as an innocent source of information. But is truth or reality readily available, easily acquired, or undisputed? Or do documentaries construct their own reality? We should examine more so how they urge us to believe these constructions. Now, documentary is proposive. It is intended to achieve something in addition to entertaining audiences and making money. Traditionally, the characteristics in most documentaries have in common can be thought of in terms of purpose, production methods and techniques, formative process, and audience reaction. These characteristics can be thought of as kind of the filmmaker's scientific method. The purpose of documentaries are to increase public understanding about a topic. This is also what the filmmaker is trying to say with their films. Documentaries record and interpret the actuality in front of the camera and microphone in order to inform and or persuade the audience to hold some attitude or take some action in relation to their subjects. In Lenny Riefenstahl's 1935 film, Triumph of the Will, we can see the purpose of the movie is to clearly make the Nazi party seem strong and powerful as well as Hitler. We can see by the opening sequence 
that Riefenstahl has decided to use bird's eye view shots to give Hitler and the Nazi party a godlike view, especially as their plane descends from the heavens. This is the purpose driving the movie. I'm a drink of water, Jim. Before you go back. All right. On the house, isn't it? Yeah, on the house. Have a drink. Thank you, baby. Have some more if you want, Jim. Oh, you don't need any. What'd you say, Jim? How's that room gonna be tomorrow? Great, great. Huh? Pick and span, great clean. What? You clean, Jim? Yes, sir! Huh? What are you doing, Jim? Good morning, Jim. Good morning. How's that room going to be morning? Great best of mornings. Huh? What? What would you say? I start a right clean! Oh, no, Jim. Tonight! What? Tonight! What would you say? Can't hear you, Jim. What are you hiding, Jim? In Frederick Wiseman's 1967 film, Titty Cut Follies, we get to see both sides of the coin. We see guards joking around with an inmate, and then later asking him questions in a way that seem to be quite demeaning and are obviously getting a rise out of him. Now just because this isn't like Triumph of the Will where it has a clear side doesn't mean that this film isn't driven by purpose. What Wiseman wanted to do was show a day-to-day -day life in a mental institution for the criminally insane. And that's exactly what he did. But in order to do this, the film was driven by the purpose to show both sides. <laughs>